Hey Claiborne, I use Bricklink Studio as a base for lots of LEGO projects. Ever since I was messing around with the Bricklink part designer and noticed that I could export as an object file, I've been wanting to experiment with converting LEGO creations into 3D models. So today, that's what I'm going to do. I figured that I'd work with a minifigure because why not? So I've built sort of a classic minifig with as close as I could to my face. Usually I use the programmer minifigure face because it has thicker glasses frames, but I couldn't find it on Bricklink Studio. So in order to import a studio model into Blender, we need something different than the IO file that we get from saving it. Luckily, one of the options is to export a DAE file, which Blender can work with. Honestly, exporting from Bricklink Studio as a DAE file is all it really takes, and then you get a second file beside your IO file, and that's what you need. Now, in Blender, we have to import that file. When I tested this with models, nothing weird happened, but then I imported the minifigure. I got this weirdness, which I'll just have to fix. I'm going to speed through this part. To move everything back together, make sure that you select the Move tool, which will give you three arrows, green, blue, and red. Blender has a kind of weird user interface that I haven't quite figured out yet, but it's definitely not an app where you can just move a piece in three dimensions. You have to move something along each axis one at a time until you get it in the right place. It is really finicky and takes lots of massaging. One other thing to note is that for some reason, the colors and textures were stripped out when I imported the file. I honestly don't know why that happened, so I'll have to do some research. I want to eventually be able to have the option of making interactive walkthroughs of my models, so there's a long way to go, but for now, at least this guy is put back together and a fully 3D model. Claiborne, I'll see you on Tuesday.